So as of lately, Layla's favorite movie to watch is The Princess and the Frog. I have to admit, this is also one of my favorites because of the message, all the music, the culture, the New Orleans vibes, and the food. This movie has got some good eats in it, and I can't take it. I want to try these man-catching beignets for myself. Your man-catching beignets! So today, I am going to take a recipe, tweak it, and see if we cannot take some of this cartoon food and cook it in real life. Now, not only am I going to try to make beignets, but I'm going to try to make a vegan-friendly and a vegetarian-friendly version for all of you watching at home. So here we go! So to make this dough, I started out with a recipe I took from Binging with Babish, and I just replaced the milk with coconut cream or horchata, your choice. To that, you're going to add two tablespoons of sugar. I use like a medium brown sugar. Then you're going to add one tablespoon of yeast. Then just mix all that up really, really well till there are no more clumps. And you're going to take two cups of flour, and to that you will add a half a tablespoon of baking soda and a half a tablespoon of salt. Then you want to sift all these ingredients together and add the dry to the wet. Knead it all up until it is very well incorporated. Honestly, I could have done more kneading, but since this was my first batch, I just kneaded it together to make a shaggy dough. Then I covered and let that dough rest for two hours. When the dough has doubled in size, go ahead and punch it down. Enjoy the satisfaction of letting all these gases out. And put your dough on a floured surface and knead it again. When you've got your dough nice and flat, maybe a half inch to one fourth of an inch thick, go ahead and start heating up your oil. Before my oil could get too hot, I went ahead and dipped my knife in so that I could cut my dough without everything sticking to my knife. Cut them out to whatever size you think would be best. I made mine this size because that's what I saw on TV. So take an off cut and give it a fry to make sure your oil is hot enough. And when it's done, you're gonna wanna dust it immediately with a flurry of powdered sugar. I use the cinnamon sugar mix, but you can do whatever you like. Now go ahead and fry up all the other beignets and repeat the process of dusting and frying and dusting and just enjoy the process. The results are very satisfying. And when you're all done, serve them and eat them immediately because they are never better than when they are fresh. So I decided to cut up the next batch of dough to about one fourth the size so that I could eat each beignet in approximately two bites. And since we all know that this is way too many beignets, go ahead and prep that half batch and give them away to your neighbors to brighten their day. I decided to make another batch the next day. This was my horchata batch. And with my leftover horchata, I decided to make this delicious vegan dipping chocolate, which was very easy to make. I just heated up some horchata and whisked it together with some tablea. If you have vegan dark chocolate, I definitely would recommend adding that as well. And if you are vegetarian and you're feeling savory, take the same dough and toss a little cube of mozzarella cheese inside before frying them up. And if you're feeling extra decadent, go ahead and whip up some garlic butter for dipping. All right, guys, I hope you enjoyed this recipe as much as I enjoyed bringing it to you. Let me know if there are any other things you think I should try making. And I hope you guys are having a great day and staying safe. Much love, and I'll see you guys next time.